Hello, I would like to introduce you to a very powerful desktop tool called Uno or for underground network optimizer. To launch it, go to tools, underground, and uh, here's Uno. Once in there, as you can see here, I have created two rules. One is for my level access, one is for my decline. So you can click edit. And in here, so for this rule, I only want to create planar level access. So I pick my stop player. I give the stop ID attribute, which should be unique for every stop. So here's stop number. And access points layer. So if you have points, you can use the layer uh, that you have created. But otherwise, you can very easily build points and group on level and use center of gravity if you want to offset, say, from your center of gravity uh, to create that foot wall uh, offset. Then you can define the distance here. So you can create points. And then here you can define if you want to have solids or polylines output. And here you can delete existing outputs on those layers. Click Next. It should automatically list the points and stops that they, uh, they will connect. So here I say the connection type is transverse, density field, uh, default density 2.4. So here I go next. And here you can define some parameters for your uh, design optimization. So here you can haulage cost, development cost, and then footwall offset, and then cross cut bearing. In this case, it's 225, or you can also pick, and deviation could be up to 15 degrees. And uh, here I say per stope, I have one cross cut, and here you can define the cross sections. So after you're done with that, you can see preview and see if you're happy with the results. So here you can see very quickly, we generate a set of development access for strategic planning purposes and say next. So similarly, you can define a decline profile here. I'll open the decline profile. So as you can see, here is a similar interface. You define the stop solids layer define a unique stop ID attribute and the access, po access points layer. So similarly, you can build points if there's no points already. Uh, and the access ID attribute is level. And you can define uh, barricades layer and barrier layers. In this case, I'm using stop solace as my barrier. Do not cross the stops. And you can define the output layers similarly. Now here's a list of all the points and then how you want to access uh, at each point. So here bearing is basically the azimuth of the ramp at that access point. Opposite bearing, if you check it off, that means the program will use the preset bearing first to come up with a design. If it couldn't resolve the equation, then it'll try uh, add 180 degrees to the bearing, so the opposite bearing. And bearing tolerance is basically how much you would allow the ramp to deviate from the preset bearing here. So here's a trial and error process. So I'll go with that. Uh, actually, here, let's uh, change this to 180. And, and here you define the uh, design parameters, turning radius, grade, coverage of penalty, and minimum stra straight length, minimum straight length at the top, and then point of spacing, that's for solid creation. Uh, so here's a section profile, you can preview, 
and here if you see this is coming too close to the ore body it's actually running over almost running over my level axis so in that case i would go back and here i know the access point here might be the culprit so i just play with that so 35 is basically in that orientation so let's see preview here we go so now we have a ramp that satisfies our criteria click next finish and then you can execute them now you have very quickly come up with a strategic plan for level access and also your decline.